the main problem that they're having you all solve is six times seven. seven. Okay, and that right now, we've just started learning about multiplication. So that could be a little bit trickier of a fact to solve, right? Yeah. yeah. So what they've done is broken it down because we've already learned how to multiply by what? Two. Twos and fives. fives. Those are easier to count by, right, than sevens. Okay, so they broke the array right here, and they're going to say six times two, and that's our first fact, plus six, six times, five. times five. So they made it easier to solve. Six times two is? Twelve. Twelve. Six times five is? Thirty. Thirty. And then when you put that together, give me a thumbs up right here if you can figure out that answer. Okay. So, what will 12 plus 30 be? Dane? 42. 42. Okay. So, do you see how multiplying by the 2's and the 5's made that easier to solve? Yeah. yeah. So, we're going to do some more practice with that again today, okay? the two that we just looked at. We looked at number three and number five here, okay? Are those, when you look at them, are they the exact same array? Are they? No. no. Okay. But there are some similarity and differences about them. Can anybody tell me just some things that you notice about these two arrays? Okay, let me see. Lake, what are you noticing? Okay, right, so it's like, he's saying this one is like taller, and then this one looks like what? Like sideways from that one. So basically all they did with this one, it kind of looks like it was turned here, and then down here it looks like they kind of just picked it right up, doesn't it? And flipped it the other way, okay? So um, anybody notice anything else? Okay, Maddie? Good. Okay, so Maddie said that the top one 
has four rows with six in each one, and the bottom one has how many rows? How many rows are on that bottom one? Uh, four. four. Ooh, let's go back and look at that again. Okay, so the top one had how many rows down? Four. Four, four. with how many in each row? Six. six. But the bottom one is just what? Four. Flipped, and it has how many rows down? Six. Six, with how many in each one? Four. four. Okay, so all they did was flip that. Um, that's the difference. That's like that commutative property that we started into. 4 times 6 is the same as 6 times 4. Okay, good. So then building the arrays with manipulatives first, um, and then moving on to pictures from that, and then uh, getting to a more challenging multipl multiplication problem when they see it later, um, they'll be able to solve it because of that new background knowledge um, that they now have.